Bayer's Playbook is brought to you by Microsoft. Here at PNC Studios at Hallis Hall, we're going to have a chance to take a look at yesterday's game, and specifically Kyle Fuller. When you play cornerback, you're going to be challenged in a couple different ways. Your downfield coverage responsibilities, how you read the formation of the offense, and then what you do when the quarterback finally makes his decision. We put this play in motion. Joe Flacco's got one tight end, two backs, two wide receivers. As this play begins, as soon as he backs out, it's not really a play-action fake because the fullback's already going through to the second level trying to gain the attention of those inside linebackers. But here's where you want to pay attention to. Kyle Fuller, inside shoulder, forces the wide receiver to take a path that takes him towards the sideline. Joe Flacco sees the coverage up top by Kyle Fuller, understands he has deep safety help with Adrian Amos. The linebackers are taking the running backs out of the backfield. And now the quarterback decides to dump off the pass to the tight end. But now watch Kyle Fuller. Sees the tight end catch the ball. As he makes his way towards the line of scrimmage, look at how forceful of a tackle this is by the cornerback against the big tight end. Great job of Kyle Fuller on this first and 10 play to limit the success of this play to one or two yards. Now we'll take a look at the personnel grouping on this play. We're gonna have two tight ends, one back in the backfield, two wide receivers a little closer to the formation. The quarterback's gonna put this tight end in motion just to get a little bit of an indication what the coverage is gonna be about. You see the linebacker snug up to the line of scrimmage. And keep in mind, this is a third and 10 play, so there's more likely that they're gonna get the ball out of the quarterback's hands and try to get it downfield. Again, we're paying attention to Kyle Fuller. As he expands his responsibility, keeps the wide receiver to his inside, knowing that he has help over the top by the safety. As the receiver runs by him, safety picks him up. And again, Joe Flacco looking to take advantage of space between the tight end dump off route and the coverage of the linebackers and the cornerback. As soon as Flacco hits the tight end, look at Kyle Fuller. Breaks up to the ball, forces the issue, keeps his leverage towards the sideline, and dumps the tight end for a short three yard gain. And remember, third and 10. Great effort here by the cornerback not only to recognize the formation, the personnel grouping, his responsibilities as he gets into his back pedal, and then he's on the attack. Perfect play by Kyle Fuller. One of the best games of all the defensive backs that we've seen in quite a while, and a great effort by Kyle Fuller. Hey man, we preach turnovers all the time defensively, so let's take a look at Kyle Fuller. Because the most interesting thing about this interception is playing to and almost beyond the whistle. Look at all the kind of distraction they're bringing to Kyle. They're going to bring the tight end in motion. Now they're going to create a two-receiver side. But again, when it's third and nine, you've got a pretty good understanding that these guys are going to have to try to throw the ball downfield. Again, initial pressure by the interior linebacker speeds up the thinking process of the quarterback. And now he's going to have to read his two-receiver side. Nice combo here by the safety and Kyle Fuller. Don't get intertwined with each other so they can stay with their coverage responsibilities and still find their target. Look at Kyle Fuller. Backpedal, break to the route. And now he's going to undercut the receiver and be able to match the football hands with hands. The receiver touches it with two. Kyle gets one on it. And then there's the hard work. Look at him strip this ball away from the receiver as that receiver is going to the ground. Great footwork by Kyle Fuller. But again, it's the hard work to the whistle that gets the Chicago Bears the ball back. All right, remember that last play, third and nine in the middle of the field. A little bit different area of responsibility for cornerback because there's so much room behind you. Now put him in the red zone, third and seven. Again, pay attention to Kyle Fuller up at the top of the screen. Again, he's going to start thinking about the formation, field position, what they like to do out of this type of formation. Kyle Fuller communicating with the defensive backs on the inside. Watch him. He trails in a back pedal, the receiver coming off the line of scrimmage. He feels the route, he lets him go upfield with a little help behind. And as Jimmy Garoppolo sees the running back sneak out of the backfield, he's still underneath that first down marker. You see it up there at the top of the screen. Watch Kyle Fuller. He disengages from that wide receiver. Boom, lays a big hit on this running back. Stops him from getting the first down. Nice job by Kyle Fuller there, being physical at the cornerback position. Both first the run, but most importantly in the passing game. Thanks for watching.